Okay. He's a world-renowned individual. He can't stay with us too long. I'm sorry, y'all. He can't, but thank God for him anyway. But uh, I called him at the last moment. Well, I text him at the last moment. I didn't even have a DC to call him. Lord, forgive me. I text him at the last moment, and I said, Yo, Ice, this Pac-Man, what's happening? <laughs> he hit me back, and, uh, you know, he said, What's up, brother? What's going on? So I told him we were celebrating my 12th year anniversary, pastoral anniversary, and I want to know if he could come. Without hesitation, I got a text back. What's the address? Without hesitation. This man is, I'm not bragging on him, but he's very important. His time is very valuable. And he never said a price. You know how some folks, I need $50,000, I need $30,000 and all that stuff. You know? This one of my best friends, y'all, is four of us. And, um, he, 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 he used to compete against me yes, when we were kids. Yes, yes, and he was real good, but I was better. That's true, that's true. And I remember one day he looked at me and he said, I'm going to beat you. And then I said, you ain't going to beat me. He said, oh, yeah. He said, you think you all that? I'm going to beat you. We was in the lunchroom at Simeon High School. And... He came up with these moves and these dance moves and all this stuff and he, he started lifting weights and all of this stuff and he was a skinny little dude. He got the lifting weights and at first he was just ice. Then he became ice cold. And then when it was time for him to battle me for the last time, he became ice cold, the ultimate warrior. And he, we was in the we was in the lunchroom and he ripped his shirt off and all this stuff and started flexing his muscles and got the dancing on the table. And guess what? He won. <laughs> I told him that day, I said, if you beat me, you can be a part of our group. He fed that man, laid me down. I didn't even want to rap. <laughs> and so we, we became friends ever since then. We were just kids then. Over 25 years of friendship. About 25 years of friendship. Uh, I was 15 when I met Ice. And I, I, I'm, you know, up there now. I'm, I'm 43. So, something like that. I think, well, God, that was a long, Ice, that was a long time we met, man. I'm 43. Jesus. And, and, and we've been friends ever since. He was at my wedding. He was a part of my wedding. He did two pieces at my wedding. We was grateful for him. And of course, he got all snaps. We thank God for him. He's the international and national king of poetry. That means that he's the best of the best. Uh, and you took Fat Cat's title because he was the king of poetry. And I thank God for him. And I want to receive him, y'all, with a hearty amen and a hand clap of praise. He's my best friend. And I thank God for him. He goes by the name Black Ice. And he does a lot for me in the community and churches and individuals. And let me say this last thing before we come. He's a man of God. Yes, he is. He has a Bible show. He has a national and international Bible show every single week. And, and he is doing great things for God. And I, I thank God for you, man of God. I want you to come at this time. Let's stand on our feet and put our hands together. And let's receive our special guest today, Black Eyes. This morning when I awoke, I prayed. I prayed that my sister and my brethren be spared and saved. You think that things are bad right now. You're not just losing money in this economy, but you losing your child. The streets, they be watching, looking for his next victim. And man, you can't even go to the corner store no more. And some of our inner city schools are like prisons. Metal detectors, armed guards. And with an outdated school curriculum, keeping our children mentally locked up behind bars, how can our babies not be scarred? Oh my now, my oldest sister is 11 years older than me. And by the time I had made it to the second grade, high school she had finished. 
So tell me why was it in sixth grade I was issued English and math books with our names still in it? The odds are against us. But then again, they have always been. You just got to make sure that failure is not an option, for you are destined to win. And I was sitting here today to tell all my friends that I know that you can make it. Yes, yes. See, for you, things may be at its hardest. And for you, things may be at its darkest. But I got news for you. God always does his creating in the dark. Read Genesis 1. God created the heavens and the earth long before he created the sun. Now this flesh is your planet. And you, you got seasons like this earth does. You fall, you spring back up even harder. Yes, yes. And like this earth, your brain is made up of three-fourths of water. And remember that second verse in Genesis when the spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters? But the question is, have you created the heaven and your earth yet? See, if heaven is where the kingdom of God is, and the kingdom of God is his own, then in order for him to dwell inside you, you have to allow the king to rest on your dome. Get it? King dome? Make your mind his throne. And I promise you, you'll never have that feeling of being alone because I know somebody up in here today going to make it. You may have lost a loved one. Mama might be gone. Daddy might be gone. But he'll give you the will to be strong. Just, just listen when he speaks to you. For those that have an ear, let them hear. Don't you know that you have a blessing waiting on you, but you're too afraid to get out of your comfort zone because of fear? Oh see, some of y'all are comfortable with being a C student. Oh my God. And see, for you, that might be prudent. And in the subject of this world, some of us seem to be fluent, but in the word of God, some of us just truant. But today we're going to fix that. Old habits, we're going to kick that. Today when you leave service, I want you to get everything off your chest. Have some one-on-one -on -one time confess. And starting tomorrow, you're no longer going to allow your spirit to be led by your mind, but your Spirit is going to be led by your spirit and not your flesh. And I'm telling you, I know that somebody up in here today going to make it. That's their peace. Y'all all right? Amen.